Like most people, I've had many mentors, and I would be remiss uh, if I didn't mention some of them. Uh, and I've had them all the way from kindergarten through, uh, through graduate education and into my actual profession. Uh, so I can always provide a list and happy to do it and happy to tell people what it's all about and what they're all about. Uh, since you want me to pick just one, I'm going to choose Edgar Finley Shannon, Jr. And he's best known as the president of the University of Virginia from 1959 to 1974. And I was lucky enough to attend the University of Virginia as an undergraduate uh, when he was finishing up as president. His last four years as president were my four undergraduate years. And because of a series of circumstances, uh, we were able to work together then. And when I came back to join the faculty here, I was able to work with him as a colleague until his uh, much too early premature death in uh, the 1990s from cancer. <clears throat> he was a truly uh, inspiring person because of all of his qualities that mixed together just, just exactly right for the jobs that he had to do. And of course, as president from 1959 to 1974, anyone from that era knows that was a difficult time to be a college administrator, a university administrator, much less to be at the top. It was the time of integration, uh, not just desegregation, but integration. Uh, it was a time here and at Princeton and other places, a time of co-education. It's hard to believe that many of our outstanding institutions only uh, served uh, men. And uh, it was also the anti-war era because of the Vietnam War. And he handled all of these crises about as well as anybody could. He kept this university open when many other universities closed, especially uh, during Vietnam and the invasion of Cambodia in uh, May of 1970, which is one of my lasting uh, impressions of him. It would have been easy to try and avoid the situation to disappear, to issue statements saying that uh, he shared our concern. But in fact, he, he made public appearances and a critical one on the steps of our Jefferson Design Rotunda here, in which he said, I've studied the Cambodian invasion, I've studied the Vietnam War, I've followed this all along, and enough is enough. And I've uh, this morning sent telegrams to U.S. Senators uh, demanding our immediate withdrawal from Cambodia and an end to the Vietnam War. Uh, he gave the peace sign and he lit a peace candle. Uh, and it kept the University of Virginia quiet because he was speaking to thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, UVA students and other interested people from the surrounding area. It was a brave thing to do, a courageous thing to do. And as usually is the case, when you do something brave, you pay a price. Uh, that summer, the very conservative Board of Visitors that runs the University of Virginia, ran it at that time, uh, in secret, uh, set up a committee to come up with reasons to uh, send him on his way, to fire him. Uh, he was saved by one vote. Uh, so he could very nearly have lost his job at that point, I think causing a lot of other unhappiness uh, at the university and beyond. Uh, but he did survive, and in fact he stayed longer than he planned to, just to spite them. <laughs> and that was also uh, warranted. So uh, his example of, of courage there, and in so many other cases, uh, many confidential, I can't really go into the specifics of them, but. Uh, he was a man of rock-like integrity, and he taught me some things that really mattered and that have helped my life, have helped me to try and do the right thing. I certainly haven't always, but I've tried to do the right thing, and I often think, uh, not what would Jesus do, but what would Edgar do? Uh, he and his wonderful wife, uh, Eleanor Shannon, were uh, really my north stars in, in many critical situations that I had in my own life. So I would happily uh, name Edgar Finley Shannon, Jr. Uh, we're uh, apparently getting ready to rename the uh, major library here, which is currently Alderman Library, for Edgar Shannon, which is much deserved. That and so much more.